All right, so if you're having problems importing a GLB or GLTF into Godot 4, then this is the video for you. So first, I'm just going to bring it into the scene. Uh, it brought them really far away for some reason, so let me just change that. I'll go to zero, zero, zero. So we got our model right here. So the first thing we need to do is have the model highlighted and go to import and then say re-import. Oh, sorry, I meant advanced. And then we'll click on the skeleton. We need to create a bone map, the skeleton. So we'll select new skeletons. Uh, skeleton profile humanoid is the one you want. And if you have a Mixamo um, skeleton like I do, then it should match up pretty well. If not, these are the bones and you just kind of drag them around to move where they should be on your skeleton. But uh, everything goes pretty well for me uh, in this way. So I'll go ahead and re-import. So that brings the skeleton into Godot in a way that it can understand it. So now we'll go back to our model here and we're just going to make that local. Now that we have that local, if we come down to our animation player, we should go to animations and manage animations. Now I already did this on accident, uh, but you can go ahead and do it. If you have, these will all say foreign and we wanna change them all to built in. So you go to your uh, head of the animation and you say make unique. And then what that will do is transform all those animations into something you can understand and then you can edit them. Or what you can do is say animation, duplicate, crawl to, and then uh, we'll go ahead and add a track just to prove that it works. 3D position track on the general skeleton. And we'll go back to zero. We're gonna come down here. We're going to insert a key and then we'll go to, I don't know, it doesn't matter, over here, insert another key, and then we'll put this at 70 or 80 or whatever. And you'll see that our, uh, our crawl animation now moves upwards because we're allowed to add tracks. And we'll go ahead and save that scene as test. So yeah, uh, if you're having problems with GLTFs, that's the way that I go about it. Hope that helps.